Hey everybody and welcome back to Wound Dressing Categories with Lizzie. Today we're going to be diving into the world of antimicrobial dressings that aren't silver. Because let's face it, silver gets all the spotlight, but there's some heavy hitters of antimicrobial lineup that deserve your attention. Silver isn't always the right choice and sometimes we need alternatives due to sensitivities, costs, biofilm, complexity, local formularies, a wide variety of things but there's some solid scientific backing. So let's go through the most common non-silver antimicrobial dressings, which a lot we've previously discussed in these episodes. Iodine-based dressings, so these are like povidine iodine or cadexamer iodine. They're great for moderate to high bioburden and they release iodine slowly, keeping the bacterial load in check without harming healing tissue. PHMB, which is found in gauze, foam, hydrofiber styles, is broad spectrum activity, includes biofilm disruption, less cytotoxic than some other alternatives. It makes it good for maintenance fees. Honey-based dressing like Manuka honey, naturally antimicrobial, also promotes autolytic debridement, um, ideal for wounds with odor, slough, or mild to moderate exudate. Methylene blue and gentian violet dressings. They're dual action antimicrobial dyes that um, are broad spectrum and they combine to endotoxins, excellent for stalled wounds or wounds with bioburden. Last but not least, copper-based dressing. So copper is a, also a broad spectrum um, and it helps with tissue regeneration. They can help modulate inflammation and promote angiogenesis. And just remember that choosing your antimicrobial dressing isn't about what's trending. It's about matching the product to your patient's wound characteristics, comorbidities, and healing phase. If silver isn't an option, there's plenty of other evidence-based antimicrobials out there. Be sure to subscribe to The Frank and Lizzie Show for more wound dressing categories with Lizzie.